Hello, Linear Algebra student. This video is for Chapter 4.2, Part 3. We want to uh, continue with looking at some, looking at a matrix and also determine if a certain vector is uh, in column A or now A. And also find out the dimension of it. Or if we can just look at this and write, actually write one vector out that belongs to now A and column A. First is uh, what is if I have a equal to two negative two three like this is a three three row four column that means I have four um, three by one uh, uh, vectors that uh, combine together into a and what is k so now a is what now a's are all the x so you have to imagine all the x um, weights. And that's because I have four vectors, so it would be x1, x2, x3, x4, right? So it would be multiplied to a like this to to uh, get the uh, um, the equation equal to zero. So you can see that uh, this uh, vector now that belongs to now a is a r4, right? K is equal to four. What about column A? Column A is using, it's just a set of um, the linear combination of uh, these, right? So we can say call A is actually just a set of all these. Oh, actually I should say span of, erase this first. Span of um, two, negative two, three, four, negative five, seven. That means all different linear combination of this four vector. One, three, six. So if that is the case, what is it? It's, it's, a, it's a space because it's a spanning set. So K would equal to three because each one has three entry vertically, a column vector of three entry. Ray a vector in now A. Can I ray a vector in now A, uh, now A by just looking at it? No, I cannot. I don't know what multiplied by A will get zero. So actually to do that, I need to solve um, the systems of A x equal to zero. So that means I have to do two, negative two, three, four, negative five, seven, negative two, seven, negative eight, one, three, six, and then zero, zero, zero to so see what the answer is. To solve it, I run RREF for this matrix, uh, for this matrix, or for this augmented matrix. So let's uh, switch to the calculator. I have two negative two three right here, one three six, and I would do a RREF of B. Change this to B, and I have one zero nine zero zero. One zero nine zero zero. Oh, zero one negative five. Zero one negative five. Zero zero. And then zero 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 one zero. Zero 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 one zero. So I have three um, prefix column, and this is x three is three. Right. So all of the x one, x two, x three x4, there's four of them, would be equal to, this is 9x3, negative 9x3. x2 is equal to negative, so we got 5x3. Uh, x4 is equal to, so x3 is x3 is 3. x4 is equal to 0 because there's nothing, right? So our, uh, the one of the vector in, so that we can write it as x3, the negative nine five one zero. So a uh, ray of vector in now a would be this one. <laughs> so this is the spanning set. So we would say one vector is v equal to negative five, nine five one zero because uh, just uh, because x three is free, right? Just set, set equal to one. Set x three equal to one. So v is in now a. You can see it's very hard to write a vector. You can just multiply this with uh, a, and you would find that it is equal to zero. Write a vector in column a that's super easy because 
any vector, column vector, will belong to column A. We'll just choose the first one. 2, negative 3, 3 is in column A because the linear combination would use 1 and then 0, 0, 0. Um, if I have u equal to 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, v equal to this 3 is u is in now A. Yeah, it could be. It has four things, right? So uh, v cannot be. Okay, so it uh, but can you be in column, you cannot be, cannot be in column A. In column A is all a three number, right? Three numbers. So, but let's check. Let's check. You, let's do two, negative two, three, four, negative five, seven, negative two, seven, eight, oh, seven, negative eight. Uh, one, three, six. So this is a. I just multiply with three, negative two, negative one, zero. So to check if it is equal to zero, and that would be it. So I have. Um, so maybe I'll just do. Let's cancel this uh, column, and then I'm gonna def define another matrix. E equal to a new matrix. That's a column matrix. So delete this column, um, add two more row, and I'm going to do 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 3, negative 2, negative 1, oh, this should be negative 1, negative 1, 0, and then I'm going to do, this is my B, B times E, B times E. So it is not a zero vector. It's equal to zero, negative three, three. It's not equal to zero. So, so u is not in now in now a. Although the forms make it could be, but it's not. Okay, it says v in now a cannot be right. V is not is not in now a because it's just three back three column or three row is not uh, could it be in column a okay so to to check if it's column a we have to solve um a and then b right in the augmented matrix form see if there's a solution we don't we only we don't need to solve the whole thing um negative two seven negative eight uh one three six and then three negative one three hmm. so we go through here and i'm going to click on it and add one more column one three six negative two okay so it's three negative one three negative one three and then we would do the reduce row echelon of b and um i don't have any contradiction so It become a one zero nine zero five zero one negative five zero and then negative one point seven and then zero 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 one zero zero one also a zero point zero five zero point zero six so there has a solution exist. So uh, V is in column A. Okay, so that's how you check. Let's do the second example. Well, we have a lot of example. The second one is we have A equal to a smaller one, negative 6, and then W is 2, 1. Determine if W is in column A or now A. Okay, can W be in, let's check now A. Now A is very easy to check. So just do... Um, 6, 12, negative 3, 6 times 2, 1. So if it is it is right. So 2 times of the negative 6, negative 3, plus 1 times of 12, 6. Is it equal to 0? This is the linear combination of the two column vector, right? So just actually multiply it. So this is negative 12. Plus, oh, it is equal to 0. This is negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. So yes, 2, 1 is in no day 
the variable is in column A to do column A, you have to do the augmented matrix of uh, negative 6, negative 3, 12, 6, and then have 2, 1 here. Mm, so let's do negative 6, negative 3, 12, 6, and then add one more column. Uh, 2, 1. All right. And then I do a reduce row actually of C, see if that's solution. Um, I don't have any contradictions, so so R, R E F become uh, one negative two. I think it's negative one third. Zero zero zero. So solution exists. It's a con uh, consistent. So. 2, 1 is in column A. You can do linear combination of them. So, yeah, if you do this, yeah, negative one third. Example 3, do we have enough time to do this? So we have A here and W this. Is it in column A or now A or both? Go, uh, let's check now A first. Check now A. Just multiply it, right? So multiply uh, 1, negative 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. 2, 3, 2, multiply with negative 6, negative 7, and negative 6. So I am going to do and put it in here. Did I input it? No, I did not. Um, 1, negative 1, 1. Hmm, I thought I did. Oh, I did. A D. 1, negative 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 3, 2. And I want to multiply it with... Uh, Let's change this. Delete one row. Uh, negative six, negative seven, six. Negative six, negative seven. And then also negative six. So we want to say D times E, right? D times E. Oh, it is equal to negative 18, negative 19, negative 18. It's not equal to zero, so not in now A. Is it in column A? Column A. So we would do a uh, augmented matrix. Zero, one, zero, two, three, two. And then negative six, negative seven, negative six. So go back to this one, two, three, two, zero, yeah. So add one more column. Uh, negative six. Negative seven and negative six. So do a reduce row echelon of D. Oops, no, D. So it is a consistent system. One, zero, two, negative six. One, zero, two, negative six. Uh, 0, 1, 5, negative 13, 0, 1, 5, negative 13, and then 0, 0, 0, 0. So, so there's nearly any combination. So yes, um, that, there's any combination of this column that can get to negative 6, negative 7, 6. So um, W is in column A only, but not in now A, because when I multiply it, it doesn't equal to 0. Okay, 2, 3, 2. Okay, so uh, so this is how you can check a vector is in column A or not. Uh, in the last video, we talked about how to do the spanning set. The spanning set for now A is harder. Okay, and then the next video is about linear transformation or also some, well, actually, maybe I'll do it here. So just two new terms. The new terms uh, is the now space is also got a kernel of T. And a linear transformation can also be from a vector space V into another vector space W that assigned to each X a um, vector in W. So, um, um, so it, instead, linear transformation, instead of only doing an RN, it can al also be done on a vector space. And the null space is also called kernel. The set of all the vectors um, uh, range is uh, actually column A. Okay, range is column A. Kernel is now A. So uh, kernel will map everything to zero. The range would be what uh, maps to the 
the the the uh all, all the image.